Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back. So today, we're going to go over some Robert Belfour riffs uh, from Hill Stomp. I've done this video before, but last time I did it kind of as a reaction video, uh, and it was an, I did the whole thing in standard tuning. So today we're going to put it back um, into more of the tuning that he actually plays in, which is actually very close to what we call open F, which is just basically open G, but then down another full step from that. One thing, though, about Robert Belfour that you got to know is that he never plays like in any kind of standard right on the tuner, right? Like he's always kind of in between. Uh, so he'll be kind of like, we're playing an F, uh, but he might be playing like almost in between F and F sharp. He, obviously he's just tuning by ear, right? He's tuning based on what he wants to sing and stuff like that. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'll just play a few riffs for you and then we're going to slow them down just one by one and kind of show you how you can put them together in a, in a similar way that he does. Now remember when he's doing it though, <clears throat> I referenced like every version I could find today. Uh, his live version, several live versions that I watched from him, um, as well as the studio version that came out I think in like 2003. Um, and he plays it differently every time. Like the tuning is slightly different every single time. So I I kind of came, I, so what I did was went through all the riffs and tabbed out the basic uh, riffs that he's doing. And then a lot of times he kind of plays it with a small variation. So do we have to learn every single little variation? No, I, I think it's better just to learn the main riffs that he's doing. I'll talk a little bit about the variations, but uh, for the most part, if you learn these riffs that I've got down here, I think there's uh, uh, six of them. Each of those are like two measures long. Uh, that'll give you like a great chunk of material to play through. Uh, anyways, here we are in open F. And let's just get going into it. So we always start with kind of like this, or sometimes. Sometimes I'll do kind of things like that. We'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyways, here it goes. So there, I was just kind of playing through the riffs that I'm going to teach you, and let's just jump right in. I'm going to go one by one. So right at the very beginning, I want to show you the scale and stuff that he does too. So he, at the very beginning, this is something that he always kind of plays, and I'm not really sure if it's part of the song in the studio version, it's not there, but when he's, he always does this when he's playing live. But then after that, or before that, sometimes he'll start doing this. And basically what he's doing is he's playing through this scale. This scale is really cool in open G. Put your first finger down here on the first fret of the second string, and then it's the third fret. Down all five strings. Basically you just third fret, release, third fret. That one goes to the first finger because we're holding it there. Every other time. And those are just notes that you can kind of play, right? Um, and jam on. So then after that, he'll do this opening thing. 
okay? And I think he's just kind of getting momentum going for the riff. So let's go into riff one. <clears throat> I think this is the main riff of the song. It's hard to say still because he plays so many different variations, but this is the first riff. I'll play it fast and then slow it down. That's the whole thing. Very slowly, it's like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, notice that we have like some little trill hammer-ons. Okay, that very first one is a trill, meaning it doesn't really have any rhythmic value. You just hammer on really fast. So you could, if you're struggling with that, just leave it off and start with. Okay. The other thing I gotta say, guys, is the thumb is always moving on the downbeats, okay? So don't get stuck or tripped up on that part. The thumb will always be playing the downbeats. Sometimes if there's a note during that downbeat, he'll pinch. Otherwise, he's playing his fingers in between those downbeats. So we'll... Now one thing I also want to say on that last riff here is that's kind of almost like his answer. And what I would do is use that third finger just to slam down on all three of these and play all that with your thumb. Like that. Okay, and that's going to come up in the next riff too. That's riff one. Let's move on to riff two. Uh, here's our kind of bendy riff. That's what we'll call that one. Kind of a fast speed and then slow it down. Three, four. Okay, here it's just third finger on the third string, third fret again, and he gives it a bend like that, okay? And you could give it a tiny bend, um, or you can give it a lot, okay? Just do as much as you can and much as you feel like doing, okay? Slow it, I'm gonna slow it down and we'll play it together. Two, three, four. Again, notice those last three hits. Okay. It's all played by the thumb. Okay. And don't get too caught up on hitting exactly those three strings and then the last time just hitting one. I wanted to show the variation there. I think that sounds best if you go. And then the last one, you just hit a single. If you're struggling with that, don't worry about it. Just hit. Like, just hit it. Just hit it how it feels nice. You can hit single notes even that sounds cool to you let's go on to riff number three now this riff is probably one of the trickiest ones uh, i'll play it fast and then we'll break it down two three four again okay so this riff is tricky because we have like a triplet rhythm okay and then also some pull-offs so we start here again with that little little hammer on thing and then if you can't do that uh, leave it off let me just play it really slow and then we'll break it apart three four Okay, let's start it very slowly from the top. So we have the first, we're gonna hammer that on. And then now what he does is he rolls his finger like this, and then he actually goes. Okay, he's using his index finger to kind of sweep. Like, kind of like that. Um, I like to use multiple fingers. I think that there's a lot of benefits to being able to do that, but it's just important for you guys to know that he can do it using one finger, and so can you if you want. We have the hammer on. Triplets. Okay, so let's go over that triplet. Okay, so it's going to go pluck, pluck. 
Okay, so we're plucking, pluck, pluck, release, and then the thumb comes with the release. Okay. So all together. Okay, I think that's probably the trickiest riff in here. Let's move on to the next one. Two, three, four. Okay, slow it down. Two, three, four. Okay, the hard part is kind of adding those trills. Uh, Kind of like little ghost notes to hammer on. So if, if that if you're struggling with that, just leave that off. So that'll just be uh, three one three three one three zero oh, three zero, oh. calling out those fret numbers. Okay, all right. Move on to the next one. Uh, these are the what I call the slide up riffs. Now these he plays. I wrote it out twice because he plays these usually kind of in pairs or even sometimes three in a row. Um, and this is what this one sounds like. So I just played both of those in a row. Basically the same idea. This is a really cool idea in open G. Okay. A lot of people play it. This is a really common thing you should remember if you're in open G or we're thinking open G, but we're really in open F today. Okay. Okay. That riff is just sliding up do that third fret, okay? Let me slow the whole thing down. I'll play those four measures in a row. Two, three, four. <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, there's one more thing that he does, and this is kind of like a tension riff, and I'll, I'll call it the repeated tension riff. And why I'm calling it that is because it's, it's kind of like, it's almost like a bridge section in the song, but he's just building tension so he can kind of go back to the beginning. And this is how he plays that. Usually after the tension phrase, he'll play a... Kind of that phrase, one of the earlier phrases. But this is what it sounds like in context. Two, three, four. Back to the one of the opening riffs. Let me slow that repeated riff down. He's got a weird rhythm on it, so he's just holding this three and one, keeping that thumb going monotonic bass. So it's the really slow two, three, four. go back into a riff from the first page. Now that's all the basic riffs that he plays. Of course when you hear him play it, it sounds like he's playing a million different variations. And that's because he's playing these basic riffs, but then he kind of changes them or alters them, you know, slightly each time he plays it. So, you know, the studio version isn't exactly the same as the live version, and this live version isn't the same as this live version. They're all similar in that they play these riffs with those variations. So now, once you get these pieces together, just start kind of putting them together in your own way. You can try to follow the uh, format that I did at the beginning. That's a good way to start. Or you can listen to tons of the live performances that are available on YouTube or his studio albums and try to follow along with those. Now remember, it's a, it will be a little tricky because his tuning is slightly different from performance to performance. But all this stuff I showed you today is gonna help get you started in the right direction. And I had a lot of fun showing you this. So. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.